Show. I'm Sarah Christman and I am huddled under the eaves of the Denton Courthouse with Kaleo and Petra from Spooky Folk. We just went through the Parker House in Louisville, guys. What did you think about the haunted house that I just dragged you through? Oh god, terrifying but fun. <laughs> it was uh it was pretty creative. I like some of the room designs, you know. I mean I wasn't scared at all, but you know, it was it's as, pretty good. It's yeah, pretty good. as evidenced by you leaving us in the haunted house <laughs> at one point. Not cool. Not I won't forget that. <laughs> Hold on the hand. Oh, God. Ending up in the same room again. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did a good job with the Parker House, so thanks for going with me. I, I appreciate you guys. I, I just won't go anywhere without musicians. So tell us, Kaleo, you started off as a solo project, and you were the primary songwriter for Spooky Folk. Um, how did your band come together over the last year, and how have you um, evolved? I, you know, I started playing by myself, and then just over the course of a year, like a year ago was our first show as a band. And then we picked up a few people on the way, like Petra here, joined by for North by 35, and we had some other additions and subtractions, but now we have, you know, a five-piece, and we're just having a I'll be a sinner. You'll be my savior. Playing a lot of the house shows, you're really, uh, really quite ingrained in the house show circuit here. You play at the schoolhouse a lot, and I understand that you are recording your next album there. How did you get involved with the schoolhouse? Uh, really, Charlie and Char meaning Charlie Hunter, who's one of the people that lives at the schoolhouse. Charlie and John, and Rachel, uh, um, they're very supportive of Spooky Folk. They're supportive of our music. They're in love with the Denton music scene, so they just wanted to turn that home into. Uh, a place where people can come and be creative and, and share what they're doing and not have to vie for time at different venues just because of the overwhelming number of creative people here. Excellent. And it's a really great way to build a fan base, I would imagine, because 
it's it's such intimate gatherings and people are bringing their friends. Do you feel like do you do you notice that in your yeah, turnout? It's, it's a totally it's a lot different from playing at like an actual regular venue with real sound. Like it doesn't always sound as good, but you're you're up close and personal with the bands, and they're a lot of fun because they're there because they want to be there, and they're really into it. You know, and like it's, it's, there's not that separation between the band and the audience. Like it's one thing, so it's a lot of fun. kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the organ that lives there. It's great. Excellent. That's so fascinating. And when can we expect this album? Probably early next year, hopefully January. Um, we're going to work with some other people around town too, besides Ryan. So but yeah, so hopefully early January. Excellent. Well, we really look forward to it. You can catch Spooky Folk all around Dallas and Fort Worth. They've been playing quite a few shows. And uh, yeah, look forward to your EP. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm Sarah Christman, and this has been The Christman Show. Christmas show, Christmas show, it's time for the Sarah Christmas show. Gas up the minivan, here we go, it's time for the Sarah Christmas show.